Uh, I am. I. Uh, there we go. Hell yeah. And we're diving. Thousand KBD in a row. <laughs> And we're live now with some packing. See me feel a thousand KBDs. Ah. Okay, time to feel a thousand KBDs in a row. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. The motion for it is like. Not easy on left side for me. I'm trying to get as clean of his input as possible. <sighs> oh man, okay. Holding down back is fine, but returning back, letting go of down back so that I still get the left input requires me to hold my thumb for a little longer. But you have to do the down back to back fast. Right. So it's like letting go and getting the down back motion. is kind of iffy. Oops. Doing two in a row, I feel, or three in a row is perfectly legit. Just practice. And when you're holding um, down back, you're supposed to release uh, down back. But to still get the back, you have to hold your thumb a little bit. Okay. Which isn't always fast, but... It's definitely more consistent to get your KBDs like that, even if it's slower. Right, so it's like down to the back. Let go, put your... Th let your... Th let your thumb just ride the stick for a little bit. And there you go, KBs. Oh, messy sloppy inputs. Whoopsies. This. Yes, let this practice without the double backdash. And I'm an anime player, so it's not very... Uh, not very typical of me to feel that way because I always want to do double backdash I'll speed it up nope okay Okay, hold it like normal, like you would in an actual match. Good morning, I'm here to judge. Oh my god, it's Keon, the judge prosecutor of all KBDs. <laughs> oh, what's more? What's up? Good morning, Keon. Good, good Thursday, Thursday morning. It's almost the end of the week too, right? So, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully things are gonna be chill, chill for a little. Well, at least for the rest of the day too. And oh man, my my thighs hurt so much because I've been playing um, Ring Fit Adventure. I started playing Ring Fit Adventure um, yesterday morning and evening, and so my th I, just two practice sessions or two uh, Ring Fit sessions, and my thighs are already like burnt. <laughs> Slowly build up muscle memory. Um, yeah, definitely, and just. I'm noticing that like 
I'm letting go of down back, so it goes to neutral rather than actually just like sliding to the to the to the back to the back. What I ended up doing was like I just let go of my thumb and my two fingers and thumb when I was holding the stick. I just I'm practicing um letting go of my fingers and then holding my thumb just for a slight amount so that I still get the back motion. And I was able to cop a copy of Ring Fit because my sister always had Ring Fit. But because she's been busy with work, she's never had the time to use it. Me being homebound, and my sister not necessarily being homebound, I'm, I've been copying her copy of- I've been taking a snoop of her- well, I, I have her copy of Ring Fit. And I'm doing it now at least twice a day, just to get physically fit. I don't feel my gut hurting. I do feel my triceps being a bit sore, but, and my thigh muscles. Uh, on the front and the back just being uh, sore. So I'm probably going to take it a bit easier today <laughs> um, with ring fit overall. And I don't know if like doing um, two sessions is good. Um, whoopsies. Oh, can't. Damn it. I keep on pressing double back twice. Um, But all I just know is... I'm going to use this time properly uh, during the pandemic to build up and get into a good healthy lifestyle. Oh crap. There you go. Okay, messed up a bit. And I just develop as many skills as possible, which is why I'm picking up Tekken too, right? Um, I know with the down back, once you hit down back, it's like you're supposed to hit back as fast as possible. But you're not supposed to hit after you after you hold down back and hit back, you ideally don't want to press down down back after the second back that appears because you want to get some distance with the KVD. Um so I have that issue a lot. Um that I'm trying to build into my muscle memory and I just want to have different speeds of holding down uh, pressing down back from the second back uh just so I can adjust my distance with and speed right yeah you're supposed to let it hit back again um so what I I, I first started doing like last night was I tried to do like hold back down back then hold back and then let go, and then, and then do that. Uh, so I could get like the motion right. And then I started letting go of like back a little bit faster. And uh, man, I'm still not good at this. And then get the KVD motion more consistently. Because um, I noticed that like there is some time where if you don't press down back fast enough from the down back, uh, it won't register the second down back as a dash input, right? Yeah, it's pretty close, um, but not really it. Uh huh. You should be holding down back, and when you release it, see if it does the back motion. Yeah, so it's like there's that, right? It's like. Do I deal- that's what I- that's what I've been doing, like, um, last night, it's just like, hold down- Don't press back. Like, something like that, right? Just do down, back, and release. Yeah, because ultimately, when you do down, back, and release, and- And you release it, you want to hit the back. But, and to, to compromise, to get, uh, I mean, not to compromise, but to get a reasonable amount of speed with your KBDs in succession, and you, and all that jazz, you do want to release down back, but quote unquote release, right? Anyways, morning, Susie, what's up? Hola, morning, happy Thursday, it's almost the end of the week, hell yeah. <laughs> yes, and... That's one thing I've realized, it's like you're supposed to get the back motion without really hitting back, but I try thinking about it like on a mechanical level, it's like 
that being said, it's just like you ideally don't want to hit. Uh, you don't want to hit the 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 corner of the gate like too deeply to the point where when you release it, it doesn't hit back, right? Oh my god. You, you're picking up Dragon Ball and Susie, you haven't touched Dragon Ball since April? I mean, fair enough. It, within good reasons, you know. We haven't- I haven't touched Dragon Ball either, even since- I haven't touched Dragon Ball since, uh... Rick. I haven't touched Dragon Ball since May. So I don't blame you. <laughs> and, I mean, fair enough. We have other priorities we want to, like, get stuff done too, right? And I hear- I, I remember seeing that post that you- on. It's like, uh... Oh shoot, I probably should talk while doing all of this at the same time. Um, I heard that you're picking up Frieza, right? <laughs> and you're picking up Frieza, you're picking up all the tough mechanical characters. <laughs> You drop Frieza? Oh my god, you save yourself a lot of trouble. <laughs> She's kind of been like, here and there, like, good and bad at the same time. Play some mashy scrub games with a friend? Yeah. And then you just pick Bardock or GT Goku. Or Kid Boot. <laughs> and honestly, like, stopping playing fighting games, especially in this pandemic, I think is a very reasonable take. Just because, um, well, there's not a lot of external motivation to do so, right? Like, um, tournaments aren't going, and if your connections are pretty terrible, um, it's pretty hard to stay motivated when all you get is, like, terrible games. Um, because there's, like, six, seven frames of delay, or eight frames of delay, right? I completely understand. Because, like, it's been the same with me with Grand Blue for a little while. But just as recently, um, I've been deciding, hey, I'm gonna play Grand Blue more, just because, uh, I like the game, and there's at some point it's like, I like the game so much that it's like, I'll try to have a good time even if it's like 7 frames delay. And while I don't exactly get exactly what I want to do, I don't get to do what I want to do in the game, like, I try to implement uh, what I practice, like, at least in training mode. So I still spend time in training mode, like, labbing things out, even if my connection's pretty butts, you know? Um... Adult Gohan kid selling Kid Boo has piqued your interest? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, you don't want to have the DLC care. Perfect. Uh Yeah, I think I think in this case like this where you don't have the DLC characters, just pick whatever vanilla characters you like that that I think that you feel that are strong, that you vibe with. Right? For me it was I still play a team that has no DLC characters. Can you go tanks Yamcha? Especially when Gotenks got buffed. He's now like an insane point character, or even, even probably even over Ginyu. Right? Um so I'm probably gonna stick with that team until I find Ginyu pretty boring. Um And besides, Dragon Ball Dragon Ball DLC doesn't always go on sale, but like the uh, expansion of Dragon Ball tends to be like on sale, like here and there. You haven't, you know, so it's not too bad, right? It's like you can play Dragon Ball on and off here and there, as long as you like make a dedicated time to lab every day. Like it, it makes a lot of sense to just pick up Dragon Ball now, and. I mean, if you picked up also Susie, if also if you picked up like a uh, nuclear, definitely take the time. Oh, you haven't gotten to it yet. Okay. Um, I mean, definitely if you can lab it out, like even on like in ten minutes a day, or just try to find something interesting to do with it. I swear, like, it's gonna be hella fun when you come out when we all come out of the pandemic and just play games with people. Um. But you haven't- you need to find that spark, okay. Yeah, I feel yet too, because like, a lot of that spark tends for people tends to be like- For some people, like, part of me comes from ex external motivation. Oh shoot. Uh... And practicing on your lunch break, honestly, 
like oh shoot um practicing yeah practicing on your lunch break <laughs> whoopsies yeah i'm doing this unconsciously uh while ch chatting so it's like i can tell like my brain wants to speed this up right um external motivation like of course as players we and as humans we are externally motivated to some degree but and the hard part is obviously like finding the internal motivation to do certain things um especially when in a, in a world like this pandemic here um nothing's really nothing really is happening externally so a lot of it has to just come down to like i want to do it because i find it int personally cool or interesting right which is why like for me right now like doing these kvds like unconsciously and trying to get them consistently even though i'm talking to you guys like i find that interesting even if it's like mindless i i i, I think i think that makes sense right oh whoopsies um yeah and if the toronto tekken community i think if any community wasn't that strong um some people would be definitely super motivated to uh to, to lab things out because they're like i just want to do this because it's it's like my scene around me not that strong and i have like i know if i put in the time like i can get really good like in relative to like externally everything everywhere else but i i feel like at least for myself i'm very motivated by having a really strong scene um being always um knowing that there is like a, a goal a goal ahead of me um within reason to to practice helps me like encourage and encourages me to put in the time to to ask that uh oh shoot i'm messing these up uh put in the time to to be better than i ought to be right and i i i thrive off that motivation especially during my time when i was in school studying and trying to uh, be be more quote unquote intelligible intelligible than others that's always my motivation and it's a good motivation to have but this pandemic has made me realize that like that do, just relying on that is not that great and a lot of it just has to be a lot of the things i'm doing right now is just that i want to do it because it's cool right and that's good just a good enough reason um even if you put in 10 hours like on into any anything or like even five hours or two hours like as long as you find it cool it's all worth it and definitely if you find it interesting within the first few hours you could find it interesting in the next few hours, but obviously there are diminished returns. But that's okay. Like as long as you give gave those hours a, sh it's time to shine and a chance. That's all. That's it's all. It's all worth it, right? Um. Yeah, and watching other people play, like games that you're interested in. And wanting to give it a shot on your own spare time, even if it's not like an, a series dedicated amount of time, is still perfectly fine. It was the same with me and Tekken when when I saw everyone play at Stun City, uh, Rip Hive, Rip the Raiders. <laughs> you know, um, here that they're they're closing down. It's pretty sad. I mean, and it's like, it's the pandemic, right? It's like, it was bound to happen to a lot of, um, not bound. Uh, that's probably the a harsh way to put it. It's it's expected that a lot of businesses can't uh, thrive off of that, right? Uh, especially at a time like this. Yeah, it's the bar where everyone knew um, what they wanted to do, or what what everyone needed and what everyone wanted, because we were all regulars, right? And we loved it for that. In the meanwhile, with that being said, I exactly don't know exactly where it's going. It's gonna be scary, um, but I hope the I hope whatever bar that does survive or venue that does survive, um, ultimately will thrive with people surging in and trying to be social at at it after the pandemic is over. No, it was a definitely like for for how many complaints it had it was a good venue like that's something i think not a lot of people can deny um and like yeah like i had my complaints too but like i appreciate it and was grateful and respected the fact that it existed and i encourage people to go even even through its all complaints 
right? But that's how you know something is good, right? Like even if it has a lot of complaints and it has a lot of issues, that people still go to it because not because it's it has its merits, right? And and on top of like what's uh and bring going back to what Susie said, like like if you feel um that that you need to us uh, look at resources on your spare time definitely as long as you find it interesting too right like for me the most interesting thing about fighting games is looking at this free game data and trying to make sense of it holistically in my head right and my frame data and i um and making sense of frame data making understanding frame data of like certain moves and like certain mechanics of the game so i can get a sense of it in my head like honestly motivates me to play the game more because like I want to test things out because I have a lot of theories behind why certain things work and certain things work, right? But of course, frame data doesn't tell you everything, right? Like it's not, it's not, con it's not conclusive of the whole game. And there are other things that like frame data kiss can't tell you, right? Like, like with that being said, block four is plus eight on block, but this is still punishable even if it's plus eight on block, right? Because you're still going for the recovery animation of block if you don't press anything. So even if it's plus eight, it's like it's still negative. So you have to go for mix-ups, ideally. And I don't think any option out of K and K um, are safe. So if I press like uh, here, man history, uh, no, um, action setting, uh, repeat action, record, and then that's it. Oh, whoopsies. There. Oh, whoops. Um, if I press, like, if I record Hayachi pressing 1, right? And that's it. And I hit, um... Okay, and I play this. Oh, whoops. If I time this right, I should still be able to get hit by 1, even if I'm plus 8 on block, like that. Right? So, like, there's only so much, like... Knowing that frame data and being like, oh, KNK4 is plus 8 on block, um, I'm still getting punished, right? Like, even if I'm holding back. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. I'm hitting it at a bad time. Oh, wait, what? I'm trying to make a point here. Wait. Oh, whoops. Come on, Hayachi, press me one, press one when I'm KNKing. Uh, really? But like, it's plus eight on block. But like, and I've I've gotten hit by ones when I hit K K and K four, or I mean four four in K and K stats. There's no way I'm not um, punishable on this. Wait, wait, like just like I've been in K and K stats like. Like back one four, this this is this is like back one four puts me in the K and K stance, right? Um, but holding back after K and K, I still get punished by one because I'm still plus eight, but I still go for the recovery animation of the of the stance, right? Wait, uh, come on, kabam, kabam, oh shoot, one, two, three, oh whoopsies, okay, I, I gotta time this wait. Oh, whoops, while standing. Is it not? Really? Am I just not holding back? <laughs> oh no. Uh. The move itself is not. Okay, okay, okay. Wait up. So if I do. So maybe I'm just not holding back. <laughs> God damn. Um. Yes, you're you're plus eight, but like you're plus eight, and then you have to do a move. It's like right, right, right. But the thing is, is that I've been punished even being, even though being I'm, I'm even though I've been plus eight because what I'm saying is that like the recovery animation of not doing anything on uh, after K and K stats is like more than eighteen frames, right? Okay, wait. 
Okay. That's different though? Oh, okay. That's not the move being... Right, like, in the end, like, being plus 8, you can do literally any frame trap. Because no jab's gonna beat it. As long as if the move is like 18 frames startup, like, that's a frame trap. Right? So if I can recall, this is like 18 frames. This is um, Leo's slowest option out of KNK stats, and all her options frame trap people. Um, I need that frame data. <laughs> $5! <laughs> Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, dear. Uh... I need... I definitely need the frame data checker. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll get it on DLC tonight. I'll get it on DLC tonight. I'll be, I'll be working soon, so I'll, I'll be able to finally afford $5 of worth of frame data. <laughs> but if I'm getting the frame data, I might as well get the, um... I think there's a... What's it called? The Seasons Pass that comes with it? Because, I don't know, but I don't think I've shown everyone, but like my character select screen is um, not complete. I think I don't have... Uh, I have the Season 1 characters, but not the Season 2 characters, right? Yeah, it's Season 3. So, Eliza is, I think, not even a part of any season of the pack. You have to buy her separately. Yes, I'm missing season 2 and season 3. But Lisa for sure is not season 2 or season 3. Yeah, he's Lisa's own DLC. That I remember. I believe... I need to... Um, I believe... Uh, Gan Ganryu was the end of season 2. So everyone here is season 2. Everyone here on the right side is season three, if I can recall. Because I, no, 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 no. I'm mistaking that. Bakram and Ganryu came out at roughly the same time, so they're season three. Leroy and I think Safina are season three. I think Julia was the end of season two. Because I know Julia came after Marduk, and I know Anna came before Marduk. I know Lei was like one of the first characters in season two. Oh, so Armor King, Armor King, Anna, Negan, and Lei are season. Two. Okay, so Marduk season three, Julia season three, Zafina season three, Yanryu. Lee, Roy, and Fakurum is season 3. Okay, okay. Because I know, yeah, it was 6 characters per season. Uh, Armor King, Anna, Negan, Lei. Julia. Julia se sounds right to be season. Sorry. Uh, what? Whoopsies. Season 2. Um. So it makes sense. Uh, I know, yes, and Noctis, Geese, and Noctis and Geese were season one, and they were the only. Oh, it was Akuma as well, I think, right? That was season one. Yes, yes, I think. Oh, you know what? We'll have to Google it <laughs> eventually. Um, that's a, uh, that's kind of normal. Oh, Kukuma was a part of the game. Really? On release? God damn. Shoot. Okay, wait. Um. Huh. So everyone on the second row was released on- was released- uh, was available on release. Okay, fair enough. Um, okay. Right, okay, okay. Fair enough. Um, okay. You know what? Let's-
it's it's been half an hour of talking and chatting and KBD practice. So you know what? Let's let's go online and uh, let's see what I can do. Everyone on Top Rose DLC. Ah, uh, alrighty. Okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense because a lot of them are just I kind of recognize as DLC. Uh. So hopefully, like it's not too expensive. I don't know how much is on Steam. I t I think Steam tends to have cheaper plans overall. Uh, then I mean cheaper deals on DLC character than PS4, if I can recall. But I'm not sure if that's always the case. Second seven Steam DLC. It is on Steam. Season past is. Holy shit, 28 bucks. Okay. Um, I am, I need to, s hold on. I need to check this here. Okay, I'm on a Steam page right now. Uh, season. Season Eliza is six dollars. Seasons two is forty dollars. And season three is twenty eight dollars. Holy shit. Yeah, that's insanity. Oh god, that's not good. Okay, that, that actually kind of sucks. Okay, so I have Noctis and I have um. Well, I've taken bowling. I have Noctis and I have um, peace in my Steam game. So I think I have some form of season pass. Maybe it's season one. Uh, let me check this. Okay, so the season- okay, I- if the season 1 pass has... Uh, what does it have? It has playable characters, new stages, game- new game mode, and costume pack. Not really that useful. You know what, okay. Um, let me just look at a wiki to see, um... The, what was contained within each DLC pack. Anna, Lay, Mardok. Yeah, Mardok, for sure, I felt like it was season. Right. Everything else is season 3. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Negan felt like a season 3 character because he came so late within... Um, overall, like... Uh, the whole season, right? Oh. He was tested early. Ah, I see. Ah, I see. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, okay. Yeah, because I remember he, when he was released on after like EVO Grand Finals, everyone was like, holy shit, right? But I guess that was really the end of Season 2 rather than the start of Season 3. Because the start of Season 3 was Leroy. And then Ganryu and Fakurum, right? Oh, Spring 2019? It's been that long? Shit! It's been a year. Holy cow. That is, uh, that's kind of nuts.
That's like... Wow. That was forever. <laughs> At the Tekken World Tour Finals? Where Negan was complaining about him and about how long it took for him to come out? Ah! Uh, I think there was a video of it, right? Oh, I probably should have. Let me just... I just noticed the text are the text is pretty big. Uh, let me try to uh, adjust it so it's not as ridiculous. I just realized it is a excessively big, but and it's legible. Yeah. I okay. I just had to reset chat just because. Oh my god, the text was like super super. Uh, there's a trailer for it. Testing. Not coming out. Oh crap! I destroyed chat chat box. Okay, okay. Hold on. Okay. There's. So <sighs> God damn it! I I really destroyed chat there. Oopsies. My bats. I wish I can reset it. Okay, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to work on it next time. Probably shouldn't have done it during stream. Uh, there's a trailer for it. Right. Um, right, I think I actually remember seeing that trailer. It was kind of weird. Um, <laughs> oh. It was like, uh... It was where, like, Negan was like... I think it was a real it was like a five minute trailer of Negan um where Negan was like doing a small slow chat or something like that, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. The the uh the trailer for Master Roshi at first was terrible. But someone made a parody of it which was absolutely hilarious. Um, Master Roche Parody Trailer. This was, uh, freaking hilarious. I, I, it was by some guy named Shoyomo. Okay, you know what? I'll have to fish for it later. Yeah, the, yeah, exactly. That was absolutely freaking hilarious. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh. Nope. Punch, 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 punch. That was the best and most funniest thing I've seen in a long while. Nope, he pressed the button. Okay. It was like only like 15, two, like even a second long, but it encapsulated exactly everything that like, um, that Bankai Namco does, right? Oh. Hello? Yep. It was the, <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. It was the, it was like. I did like the best parody I've seen in a while. <laughs> oh shit. He launched me. Oh no, he knows his combos. Oh shoot. Whoops, I can't do wild standings. Whoops. Oh no, he's just smashing buttons. <laughs> okay, uh, uh shoot. He's gonna one, yeah. Oh no! Okay, that completely whiffed. Oh shoot. That back one whiffed too. It wasn't a good idea. He's gonna press buttons. Oh shoot. Okay, I did something- I did the down back four, but it was a bit too slow. Wall standing too. Yep, got him. Right? End the low. 
There you go. Um, man, I, I wish I wish all trailers were like that, just so that we can get like a chuckle here and there, but then come out with like the actual trailer. So there would be like a trailer where it would be like a meme at first, but then at the end of the at the end of the meme trailer, the actual trailer comes out. If they did that, if Arxis if Arxis did that, um, that would be absolutely freaking hilarious, and it would be pretty funny if they could do that. Um, I think it would be great too. Just so that's more memorable. Fight. Okay. Just going for highs. Right. Oh shit, back one isn't fast enough. Oh shoot, running two. Grab. Oh shoot. Oh no. Crappy. Okay, okay. I tried to do Rage Art there, because I knew he was going to press buttons. Yep, yeah, press buttons. Hello? Perfect. Okay. Sidestep. Punch, 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 punch. Interrupted. Hello. Pressing buttons. I just want to do my mids. Oh. Whoops. No. Oh, shit. That running. That is... That felt plus. Oh, shoot. Hello. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, okay. Let's see if I can DBD on. I can sort of KB in under pressure. Yeah, pressing buttons. Oh shoot. Oh, he just pressed buttons there. <laughs> he kept pressing buttons when I was like hitting him and with the uh, one, and he uh, uh, and he got hit. So I had frame advantage here. But yeah, the the uh, oh man, Yo Yomo was his I think name, Yomo. Um, parody, Goku. I just I just need to find it on Twitter again. <laughs> uh, where was it? It yeah, and for it's hella amazing. But I wish, I wish I wish I can see it again. Where is it? Yo yo Momo, that's his name. Okay. Wait, it's it's almost here. Man, he posted so much stuff on. It was a while ago too. Goku. Trailer. God damn, where is it? No. Nickel means damn that's crazy. It's oh I gotta find it and post for you to see again. Because it's that good. Oh, whoops. Okay. You know, okay. I'll have to search for it in between matches. <laughs> That's plus. He pressed buttons. I pressed buttons there. Nope. He pressed buttons. Got with punish. To practice KBs? Oh yeah. Cause I know like if you mess up the KB. Oh shoot. That sucks. Nope. 
Oh. Interrupted. Oh, he pressed buttons there. Yeah. I know they do backsways. Even Josie, I think, too, is okay, right? Um, but I think Josie's backsway is a little bit different. Oh, shoot. The low. Whoopsies. Okay. Man, he keeps on doing the running too, and it keeps on working. Oh, shoot. Whoops. Sidestep, yep. Running, yeah, that's the thing I keep on forgetting. Running 2 is plus on block. I think it's like plus 2 on block. Which is ridiculous. And it semi-tracks too. It's overall a really good move from what I hear. Um, uh, he kept, uh, he keeps on leaving. God damn it. Where's the trailer for... Goku. Oh no. God damn, it's somewhere here. Okay, it's probably better if I search it up on mine. Um, I know I retweeted it eventually. One, one time. I was hella hope there. Uh, where is it? Where is it? See that? That was a wall combo? Yeah, I see- I- I, I ended up uh, make- having a parody of it. Um... Well, not a parody. I mean, I ended up just kind of making it on the spot. Sorry, I'm just mixing up thoughts in my head. Um... Where is it? La 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 la... Uh-oh. Okay, I can't find it. Oh, okay. Can't worry about that too often. Oh, shit. The low. Oh, didn't press buttons. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, overhead. Sweet. Okay. Oh. He's pressing buttons, and I'm pressing buttons. Okay, grab. Sweep. Oh, that was risky. One, one. There you go. Woo! Okay. That's minus eight. Okay, he interrupted my delay on my string. Oh, here we go! He got the low parry! Oh shit, I pressed buttons at the wrong time. Oh, okay, he probably blocked it if he didn't press a button. Oh, I got it! He down low period it the third time. Okay, I think I didn't think he would do that. Nope. Right. He got the bait. Oh, he took the bait. Oh shoot. Oh no, running two. The low. There you go. Hell yeah. Okay. I still need to actually figure out if I can side. I, I gotta figure out actually how to um deal with like Oki and being under Oki too. Like I keep on forgetting how to, what's it called? 
Roll to the right. I only know how to roll to the left because one is the answer. But I think it's down one that's that helps you roll to the right when you're when you're um, when you're under Oki. I think so, right? Something like that. One four. Oh come on. Press buttons. Nope. Let's mix up. Yep, the combo. Hop, hoppity hop. The mids, hell yeah. <laughs> Round two. Fight. Oh. Oh, he pressed buttons there. God damn it. Running two. Nope, too far. That's plus. Grab. Oh shoot, nice. The mid. Running. And mid. There you go. Okay. Oh shoot, I messed up my KVD! <laughs> I got it punished for it. Oh no, he knows this combo. Oh shit, that has armor on it. No. Oh shoot, I messed up. Oh. Oh, got him! Ah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> That was lucky. Oh my god. I knew he was gonna press the button there. <laughs> but I was way too close for comfort. <laughs> oh lord. But I had so many times to also combo him. Um, and I just didn't realize I, was I could combo him at that time. <laughs> Yep, grab. Oh, whoopsies. Shoot. Hello. Hello. Nope. Shoot. Running two. Or running four, or something like that. Oh shit, okay, he decided to press buttons after 1-2. Right. Grab, yep. Right. Hop, hop. There you go. Okay. Oh shoot. Nope. Okay. Yeah, he he definitely didn't punish that right on time. Damn it. Shoot. I got launched. He's gonna press buttons. There you go. And I'm gonna live. Yep. <laughs> Frame trapped rage arts. Hell yeah. All right. Round four. Fight. Whoops! You can't do it yet. Damn it! Oh. Oh no! That's not good. Oh, damn it, I pressed the button, but he just armored through it. Okay. Nope. Okay, he's just gonna back off there. 
Nope. Nope. Punish. One, two, punish. One, I mean, one, four, punish. One, four, punish. There you go. I just... Yeah, I think it's because... I think I can only do that one, four, punish just because he's, like, pressing two, two. And I think that's probably, like, minus one unblock. But I'm pressing one, four. So it comes out frame 10. And I should be fine after that. Wow. Okie dokie. Round one. Fight. Oh, shoot. Nope. Full crouch. Oh my god. That's not good. The damage. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I pressed buttons too much there. Um, mini direct. Ooh, that's going on. Shoot. Okay, okay. Got it. See you later in a bit, Tigon. Come on. Ah! Uh. Ah, uh, no, I'm pressing buttons when I shouldn't have. That's like minus. And he just wanted to, uh, wanted to press buttons there. Come on, he's constantly pressing buttons! Oh. Got him. Yeah, enough time. And that should be death. Hell yeah. Okay. Oops. Oopsies. Trip. Yep. He keeps on pressing back there. Okay. Yeah, 1 4 punish. Simple 1 4 punish. Getting that easy 20 15 damage? Something like that? Don't press buttons. Press a button. Oh shoot. My bad. No! <laughs> God damn it. Thought he'd press a button there. Man, I could probably duck under all lot of that crap. And I also gotta practice my KBDs too. Alrighty. Round one. Fight. Oh no, that launcher. Seriously? Oh no. No. I got bait punished. I got baited and whiff I whiffed and he punished me. Ah. Gotcha. I pressed one or two. Oh no. Shit.
come on. I was trying to go for a button. No. Ah, he pressed the button during that. I guess I deleted it a bit too much. Okay, he's never pressing buttons there. I, I need to stop going for that risky move. Oh, oh he tried to... He tried to low parry it. Haha, <laughs> saw that. Okay. Gotcha! Right, there we go. Okay, that was close. No, he won't press buttons. Crap. Oh shoot, that's gonna hurt. Oh god damn it. Yeah, he's like not pressing buttons after K and K at all. And it's like it's either high or low. So is it's he's well he's standing too, so I probably should like K and K four more often. But he's been showing that he can low parry with it. So it's a bit tough. But we'll see. Um, and I think I can get his like idea of like what he's doing, so it's not too bad. Nope. Okay. Finally, he's doing the low parry. Nope. Okay. Nope. Grab. Nope. Shit. Oh no, the grab. Shoot. Not gonna reach. Ah! Goddamn. Okay. Wait, why would you punch there? I'm running to. Running. Okay, finally, he's got it. Gotcha. There you go. Run, grab. Oh no! Crap, back one was a bad idea. Nope. Oh my god, that string goes on forever! Okay. Side step. There you go. Perfect. ASMR stick sounds? Hell yeah. Bro, I'm going to be, um, what's it called? An E boy. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to be a hella E boy. <laughs> and just like be like moving that around.
you know, moving it left and right, up and down. <laughs> Anyways, morning, Fran. What's up? Hola. Yeah. Oh, what's up, Harris? What's up? Morning. Morning. It's Thursday morning. Almost the end of the week, so we're almost there. At the moment, like, you know, I think I think I think it's gonna be fine, considering that it's like it's the middle of S September now. Everything's colder, so things feel a little bit more like at home. There's no there's no need to uh, feel like oh shoot. Press buttons. Oh my god, you press buttons there. Okay. Fish. Come on, yep. Running two. Grab, yep. Okay. Below, oh right. When's the VTuber avatar? You're kind of a fall guy? Yeah, I've been always a spring guy and a fall guy. Summer is like terrible. I like, I sweat like crazy and it's like, you can't literally live in this weather. Oh my god, he pressed buttons immediately. Press buttons. Nope. I need a block low. Damn it, okay. <laughs> uh, you're kind of a fall kind of guy, right? You So you've been playing fall guys like everyone else. <laughs> Grab. Yep. Oh shoot. Nope. Gotcha. I'm gonna take a ton of damage there, but it's not gonna kill. Nope. Wah! Running two. Well, that's not really running two, but still. Oh shoot, to confirm off of that was a bit tough. Oh. Gotcha. Special mid. Come on. One. And low. <laughs> there you go. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I, I prefer winter just too, just because one, it's cold, so it's like you don't really need to, like uh to sweat. You don't sweat too much. You get you get to eat fucking good shit in in winter more than summer, right? Just because it's more um, it's more colder, so you get to eat that fucking like those actual like dishes you can actually cook yourself, and generally they're like piping hot, right? And then you eat them in winter, they just taste better than in summer. Right. Like I eat steak I love eating steaks in winter during summer and compared to summer so much. Um and holy shit, like winter is also just a time where everyone takes a lot of breaks. So everything is like overall much more chill than in the summer where where like sometimes it can be overwhelming in the summer for people, right? So, you know, it's not too bad. Yo, okay, okay. Fair enough. Summer barbecues are amazing. They're hella great. Sadly, we're going to get too many barbecues this summer, but, like, hopefully next year is going to be a bit better. Um, and plus, oh man, I remember TO TOSFHQ always had a barbecue every, like, once every Friday, the end of the Friday. I never went to TSF TOSFHQ, but I heard it was, like, really good. It was a really good place to just get practice in and just chill. Round one. Okay. Man, can you? Oh shoot. Crap. Okay, he pressed the button there. Mr. Applejack. Oh, that's minus. Nope. Oh, what? That whiff? Goddamn. Running two. Running to, and just let stupidly hop kick for whatever reason. <laughs> oh no! 
Ah, oh, shoot. Low? Okay. Oh, no, that came out faster than my back one. Yikes. I'm dead! Kaboom! <laughs> God damn. I think that was a- I had to press 1 and 2 there. Shoot. Okay, I tried to go, go risky there. Nope. I think pressed 1 there. Right. Running dash. Oh my god. What frame does that come out? Oh shoot. Oh he pressed buttons. Ah! Uh, yes! Please! No! <laughs> god fucking damn it! <sighs> Should've timed it better. Hello. Press buttons. Oh shoot, didn't press buttons there. Oh no, the grab. We timed it. Time to roll. The low. Oh my god, he high crushed me. One! Crap! <laughs> Shit, I thought, I thought, um... I could have just pressed one. I thought I would recover fast enough, but I guess not just by the animation. Way too freaking close. You discover some cool stuff for Tekken while playing different different types of characters for the last few weeks. Hell yeah. Honestly, like, I think now it's probably just the best time to pick any new character, right? No one's under any pressure to, like, perform well. And... You know, just might as well just give everything a shot. Hell. There's nothing, there's nothing like really um, stopping anyone from like being like, oh, I shouldn't do this because like um, I might not have enough time or it might not be worth it. No, it's worth it because like no one's under pressure to like accomplish anything. Yeah, I'm surprised that like all that, like during the, the animation, the uh, slow, the slow mo, like all that crushed, right? Like I was going for a low, he was going for a high. But I'm pretty sure he was doing an air attack, so that counts as a that's a high attack too, right? <laughs> mids, yeah, fuck mids. <laughs> um, right, and I gotta practice my KDs. Um, my KDs are a bit more consistent now. I think, like, I know, like, you can you can only really tell, like, with the uh, what's it called. The, the buttons on the bottom but like i think i get the motions right and i think just based off the animation and how long they take it's like i'm getting them somewhat more consistently than ever before standing they'll put out i'll hit boxes on the stick screen <laughs> um And putting out hitboxes on the screen is the sauce hell yeah oh man the amount of slow mos is hella nuts um Especially if they're like really, really close uh, slow mos. Oh uh, crap. Um, like the amount, like I remember seeing some a slow mo during like um an incendium event where like there is like three slow mos in a row, and it's like people just high crushing and low crushing each other every single time. <laughs> that was freaking hilarious. Oh, whoopsies! I'm I'm double backing. Ah, come on. Hold down back. Okay, I'm not getting off left side as much as I ought to. But I gotta practice left side. Okay. Hold down back. There you go. Man, releasing the stick uh, after down back to hit the, the other back is hella nuts. Okay. Wah! Okay, you added me just right now? Okay, let's go. Hell yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Poggers. Hey, Keon, what's up? How's the, how's the Nintendo Mini Direct? I'm assuming it was like a... 
Just like an update on. Just on like what they were like planning on doing for the next few. Uh... It was something that they were planning on doing for the next few months, right? Third party games? Oh, that's not too bad. Like, nothing super interested. Um, honestly, like, third party games, yeah, I mean, they're not really that great on Nintendo sometimes, but like, some of them are. Like, but it's it's rare once in a while, right? Um, it's like Octopath Traveler apparently is pretty good. Uh, and then there's obviously like the indie titles that go on Switch that are like still great on that platform because you can take them like literally anywhere. Though sometimes they're just better on PC, right? Like, like Stardew Valley, yeah, like I said, um, it's on Switch. There's Oxen Free. Um, there's, fuck, I can't remember. I haven't played it, but my friend, my sister recommended it to me because she, she, she gave it a good shot. Um, and it was kicking me off the top of my head. Uh, either way though, yeah, the Switch is so much more appealing now just because there are actually good games on it, right? And I think, if anything, Nintendo has embraced indie titles to be on the platform, com like on top of being on a PC. Whereas compared to like, you know, an Xbox 360 or a PS4, yeah, don't get me wrong, there are indie games on there, but like, they're just not as easily playable on there compared to the Switch, for some reason. So getting a Switch right now is like, hella good. Whoops. Oh, P press the button. Okay. Running down. Running. Two. Oh shoot. Hello. Okay, I delayed it, but he pressed buttons. Press presses the buttons again. Running two. Time that out. Oh shoot, I'm dead, aren't I? Hello. There you go. Yeah, like I my sister always had a switch. I just took her switch just like this just in the past few days. I've been loving it. Press buttons? Nope. Okay. Oh shoot. The low. My god, he has a pan! Oh no. That's a bad use of a use of a pan. Hi. Oh shit! I he avoided that? Yep. Oh shoot. The low. Nice. The low. The low. There we go! <laughs> Just poke out with the lows. Okay. Mid. Right. Hello. Right. That combos. Up. No! You got me. <laughs> Shit. Come on. Nope. Okay. Side. Yeah, there you go. Sidestep. Forward, uh, 2 plus 3. And, oh, with that being said, because I have a Switch, I, I really want to stream some Switch games just to play on casually on the side. But the thing is that, at the moment, the only good game that I think I can stream is, uh, Breath of the Wild. But, the thing is, I'm also learning Japanese. So I'm also using Breath of the Wild to actually learn Japanese because I can switch the language of the system to Japanese. And it loads the game and all the all the characters in Japanese, right? And it actually has Firagana, so you you can read the complicated kanjis in katakana, which is great. But streaming something like a learning session, like learning a language, is never really entertaining. So it's like I'll probably just play on my on my my own and like probably play like Mario Kart, um, if I can get Mario Kart, like online. Whoops. Nope. Oh no. There he go. There he goes. <laughs> this and there's like the only problem I have with the Switch is the games are expensive. Cause it's Nintendo. Press the button. Nope. 
Oh, he went for the low. He pressed the button. There you go. Double double mids. Double mids. Grab. Yep. Oh. Okay. Oh no, I could have sidestepped that. Oof. Oh, magic four. Nope. Okay. He pressed the button. Okay. Oh! No! The two! Please come out fast enough! Yes! <laughs> there you go. Rhythm games? Really? I didn't I didn't know rhythm games work well on the Switch. I tend to actually only play rhythm games on PC just because I often find the buttons on like most controllers mushy. Right? Only exception is DJ Max Respect for like the PS4. And it's on PC too, which is great. It's it's like, I it has, it has great like controls. Um, it's all a lot of EDM though, and sometimes like rhythm games are all just EDM, which isn't always great. Oh, oh shoot! Oh no! Oh! Ah, uh, sidestep, or two. The low, the low, the low. Oh no. The low. Oh no. Running to. Oh shoot. Does that. I'm running to. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh shoot. I press buttons when I shouldn't have. Nope, frame trap. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, the distance. Side step. Man, I probably should hit him with lows. He's aware. Oh, crap. <laughs> crap. Oh man. Okay. Fight. Grab. Oh no, block. Block them all. Yeah. Yeah, frame trap. Oh shoot. Yikes. Grab? Yep. Yeah, and there you go. There is the um, high, high mid. I mean, high, high low. Right. Fight. Oh, sh shoot. Yeah, he decided to duck there. Nope. Press buttons. Yep, there you go! Okay. Um, rhythm games, oh man. Like, I love rhythm games. Because they're almost like fighting games to some degree. It's like, if you get bored of fighting games, you play rhythm games. And it works out. Um. So I've been, like, the, act the recent, most recent fighting rhythm game I've been playing is, uh, Moustache, actually. And it's all a lot of anime-like stuff. It's, it's a lot of, like, anime music like upbeat anime music that type of stuff the girls are cute the characters are cute but surprisingly pretty good for how simple it is it's only two buttons two wait so a meme game sh where you went to his house and it ended up being fun and cursed New challenger. is it like a oh no it looks like a it's like a it looks like a Kusoge game. <laughs> Don't 
Dark Witch Music Episode. Rudy Mythical. Oh my god. That sounds really scary and messed up. It's a browser game too. What? No way. Oh, okay. We're gonna look into this. It's on the Switch. Oh, okay. Is it only on the Switch? Oh, I think I've seen this before. I think, yeah, I've seen this before. I've seen, um, it run on like GDQ or something. <laughs> oh, it's a Brian. Okay. Respect. Respect me. Stop pressing buttons. Oh, shoot. That was bad. Oh, nope. Nope, while standing. Oh no, hi low crush. Oh, rage art. High, high. Low, low. Shit! <laughs> no! God damn it. I almost had that too. Okay, he got caught out. I'm running. Oh, shoot. Crap, that was a bit too slow. He pressed buttons there. Okay. Yeah, don't press buttons there. There we go! Okay. Sidestep immediately. Oh, whoops. Yeah, press buttons. Running two. That's plus? No! Nope. Oh shit, I, I was like crouching because I wanted to hit with the four, down four three. Pressing buttons. Oh, that was plus? That's plus. He's gonna press buttons. There you go! And he's dead! Hell yeah. <laughs> Terrible frame traps. Okay. Damn it. Oh, shoot. Okay. The combo. What? That always happens? God damn. The low. The low. No! He high crushed me! God damn. Okay. Rising. Uh, back. I think that was like an eight, the 8 frame back turn. Um. Holy shit. But yeah, I've seen that um, game. A uh, reading medical. It's like pretty weird. It's the characters are uh, something, but you know it's Japan, so it makes ev it makes sense completely. If it's Japanese, you know it's messed up. <laughs> okay, six Dan, Let's go. Oh shoot! Oh the combo. Oh shoot. Damn it. That's a lot of damage. Okay, I did not expect that. Oh my god, and the armor too. <laughs> okay, the immediate one? Sure. Right. Bam. Gotcha. Grab. Waiting for the tech option. Oops. There you go, okay. Pay patient there, right? Is he gonna press 1 now? Yep. Oh. Okay. Complete guess on the hop kick. Grab. Yep. Oh shoot. The wall slam. 
Low. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna sidestep again. Oh. Sidestep. Shoot. Right. No! No! Oh, crap. I'm gonna take his point and demote him? Oh yeah, hell yeah, for sure! <laughs> gonna definitely do that. Yeah, you pressed the button. Okay. Oh shoot. I'm running too. Running too. Nope, that's plus. Oh no! That was my mistake. Oh shit. Yeah! There we go! Uh, demoted! <laughs> oh my god. I was actually not expecting the hot kick, so I was like, oh shit, I saw it. I was like, uh, okay, I'm just gonna press one. <laughs> my god. There you go. I am a week old professional Leo player, of course. <laughs> I think I should get more points now because I demoted him. Okay. Nope. Sidestep. Right? Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh no, okay. Oh! That sucks! Shoot. Oh, that hits mid. That hits low, okay, okay. Nope. Oh, come on. That has enough startup. Plus buttons. Nope. Oh shit, he got the hop kick. Yeah, okay, I press, on, I press a button. There you go. Boom. <laughs> uh No, I think the closer you are, the more points you get, right? Like that's how it generally works. Come on. Oh. Oh. Press button. Nope. Side step. Hello. There you go. Four points to the same rank. Yeah. Oh, the low is not big enough. Okay. I mean, not fast enough, I mean. Oh. Nope. Okay, Rage Art. There we go. Come on. Oh shoot. Don't press buttons. Oh my god, you bastard. Final round. Fight. Okay, he didn't press buttons. Grab. Shit. Ugh. Shit. Grab. No! Oh! <laughs> oh, I didn't expect him to pull down. Goddamn. Yeah, I mean that but no, the rage art the, that rage art combo is super simple. Like 
Because I, I, I realized that you can almost cancel, like, you can cancel dash into RA. So I was like, okay, that's mo probably the most simplest, like, combo I can end with RA to get reasonable damage with the beginner combos I already know, right? So I was like, okay, might as well, like, figure, might as well just go for the simplest combo. Like, because I always never was able to end my combo with RA for some reason. I was like, this sucks, right? And then I had to, like, figure out where in that simple combo could I, like, fit RA, and then it just ended up being that point. So instead of going for that running 2, I just go for, like, running RA. Oh. Grab. Oh. Oh, shoot. Damn. That's plus. That's plus. That's plus. Ah. You have to do the nerd shit for good damage? Yeah, I know. That's that's okay. I I'm, I'm willing to do that. Come on. Oh shit. Yeah, he pressed buttons. Kabam. Oh! Yeah, I got him on the startup of like his rage drive. Woo! Oh shit. Running too? Low. Oh no, that's plus. He's gonna press buttons. Oh no. Yep. Oh shit, what? That's not fair. Damn it! Okay, he ducked that time. <laughs> uh, shoot. Oh, make up. I made that up. Okay. Oh, finally he's a little parried it. Oh, shit. Got the hop kick. Grab. Uh, he's ducking every time. Is this gonna hurt? Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. Armored fruit. <laughs> shit. Okay, okay. A bit too close. For comfort, but sure. I know with um, Leo's optimal combos, you have to do a lot of delays for some odd reason. Which is always never, like, easy to do. But you ought to learn it. Um, the only problem is just the timing, right? Um, considering, though, that Leo does have simple combos that do reasonable damage, though. Like, okay reasonable damage. Not, like, amazing reasonable damage. It's fine. Low. Hop kick. Running two. Oh shit, that's bad. How do you press the button? Damn it! Why aren't you mash happy? Hmm. Side step. Nope, got the low. I probably could have punched punished that better. Ah. Shikes. Okay, should have done a hop kick there. Right. Oh! Shoot, he went for the risky low. Probably should have backed up. Nope. Ah! Oh, 
damn it. I keep on pressing buttons when I shouldn't. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Man, I keep on forgetting that 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 thing is plus. But I don't know what options to do after it. Because I guess he's going for like one, so I probably should duck. But he's decently mixing his options in neutral where I'm like, I'm guessing, okay, is he going to go mid or is he going to go low? So it's, you know, it's all right. Oh shit. I crushed, really? Seriously. Ah. Yeah, the overhead thing, I'm pretty sure it's plus. Oh no. Shit. Back in the corner. Ah! Press buttons? Nope. Oh god, fucking damn it. He keeps on pressing that, and I keep on like pressing hot mid. I mean high, so it doesn't connect. Yeah. Oh shit. God damn it! Ah. It's plus four, damn. Uh, my my sights my uh, four one two plus three is not working. Oh shit! It's not fast enough. I mean, damn it! Oh shit! Yikes! Yeah, you're supposed to sidestep it. Um, though I can't remember. I don't know if it's a one or two, so I don't know if you're supposed to sidestep it left or right. But I guess it's right then. I just don't remember what limit is. So it's like, not intuitive in my head, oh I need a sidestep left, or I need a sidestep right. Not yet. But sidestepping right? Okay, okay. That's gonna have to be a bit intuitive. But you know, we can get that done. Oh, right. I mean, you can always challenge the running with a uh, thing with like, by blocking. I mean, blocking is not bad because it's plus four. And it comes out decently fast. Round one. Yeah. Fight. Oh shit. Damn it. Come on. Right. Oh shit. Ah, oh, I keep on getting up at the wrong time. Damn it. Ah! Yeah, press buttons. Side step. Oh, he crouches. Every time. Okay, I gotta hit him with mids after that. Got him. Okay, okay. Remember, you have mids as options, Jamie. Okay, okay. Grab? Yep. Oh, that's hella plus. Oh, no. Yeah, he pressed buttons there. Kabam! There we go. Okay. Yeah, I gotta do them. I got. I gotta remember. Like my forward one is like one of my best mids because it's like frame thirteen. Yeah, punished him. Oh shit. Yeah, and he crouched there. Shoot. I also gotta know my like if I have a like mid launcher or anything like that because I really don't know how to do that. I only have like mids as my poke. Yeah, he got punished there. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, he's clearly ducking after I press a button because he's anticipating me pressing one, which is a high, right? And I just 
Don't know my mids generally. Wait, I've have, have I actually been doing mid launchers? No, up forward, up forward, or is a high, right? The hop kits are mid. Oh my god! Why did? Seriously, I thought they were high. <laughs> Shit, because like a lot of people, a lot of people like dodge it by crouching. I'm like, okay, there has to be a high. God fucking damn it! Okay. See, like, he's just doing that. Oh my god. And I'm pretty sure I'm positive on hit there. Hello? Hide. Nope. Ah! Damn it. Hopkins probably got some bad range. Okay, so I'll probably go for like down forward two then. Shit. Low. No way. Shit, the special low. What? That hits mid? God damn it. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> no way. Side step. Nope. Yeah, he pressed buttons there. Okay. Running two. Crap. Shit. Yikes. Block. Block the low. Oh no! I could have punished that better. Okay. And he didn't block there in the middle of strength. Alright. Yeah, he pressed buttons there. Right. Okay. Damn it. Hello, there you go. Okay. Uh, down one, or down two is OP. Down two is the launcher, and it's 15 frames. Down one is like 13 frames as a mid. It's minus one on block, and it's like really good as a poke. Running two. Running two. Okay. Shit. Am I dead? Nope. Oh, I try to sidestep. Uh, I try to roll left at the right time, but I guess that's not the way to deal with it. Um, I know if you just don't do anything, you're going to get run over. That's for sure. Right. Oh, he's probably disconnected, right? Uh, well, you know, whatever. Yeah, down one is great because I think I remember hearing this down one for 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 how fast it is, it has decent range, or better than average range. So like ultimately, it's probably a good thing to do do down one as a poke because it's a great mid poke. Like the range on that is like like that's nuts, right? It's like from start, it's like boom. But. The startup is a bit iffy, so there's also an option. Uh, Leo has down four, uh, sorry, down forward four, which comes out again frame frame thirteen or sixteen, I think. Um, oh, that's down forward one. Oh, it's down forward two. That's great. Uh, down forward two is like twenty frames of startup, but it's plus four in block. Uh, down forward one is, I believe, neutral on block. Um, but it comes out quicker. Um. But down forward one and down down forward four, they're great mids, um, because they come out in the same frame. Down forward four has more range, um, 
But down forward 1 is minus 1 on block, down forward 4 is not minus 6 on block. Okay, one more set, and I think I have to call it a day just because it is almost 11. <laughs> but yeah, like, down, down 1 or down 2 is... Both of them are pretty good, but I've been using down 2 more just because it, it's plus frames, right? They respect you too much, boom. You just, uh, you just get plus 4 on block. And there's very little that they could do. Um, the only problem is just like, I would like to incorporate down one more just because it is a good mix up over down two. Um, because you can, you can tempt someone to do more crap just because it is neutral on block. Um, oh, same rank? Damn, shit. Come on. One, four. Oh, shit. Whoopsies. Okay, my bad. He's gonna press a button. Nope. Oh, mid crush. He's got the combos. And the wall slam. Hello. There you go. <laughs> okay. Oh, Korean backdash. I was gonna- I made it work for a little bit there to avoid the, uh, neutral- the stuff. Crap? Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Yikes. I let go of block because I didn't expect him to complete the string. Oh shit, hot kick. Oh no, that's bad. Oh shoot, that was bad. That's plus. No way. Oh no. God damn. Okay. Not gonna press a button there. Oh shoot. God damn. That's active as hell. Nope. Okay, got him. The low! Oh no! Shoot. Oh, <laughs> god damn it. I didn't expect the low. Yikes. It's okay. Okay, well, I mean, it is, you know, okay, I guess we have more 10 more minutes, so we might as well go. Back 144 is minus 12 on block. Yeah, so it's like definitely like, um, punishable from 1. But I think on hit, I'm neutral, so I don't really get much follow-up after it. I don't get enough frame match for being on hit. Yeah, I'm pressing, I'm pressing so many buttons because I want to just press buttons. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Oh shoot. Hello. Right. Poke. Yeah, poke, poke. With punish. Okay, so I gotta stop pressing buttons when I'm like. But even. Uh, even. On. Um. Even on hit, like, I don't get enough frame advantage after. Back one four four, right? Oh shit. Yeah, okay. So like I ought to not press it too often. Oh. Press buttons? Nope. Oh shit, got launched. Because he didn't hold back. Nope, he didn't press buttons. I thought he was going to press buttons there. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. I didn't even need to press buttons there, too. 
Oh shit. Oh my god, really? Oh shit. The follow up. Ah, oh, no. Didn't know what to do there. Oh shit. Oh, blocked low. That's a mid. Damn it. <laughs> he low buried that. Oh, I'm dead still. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Damn it. I tried to do running for it. Oh. Uh. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm getting launched because I'm pressing too many buttons when I'm not really advantageous. Or sometimes just as like they do block, they do crouch when I'm um, neutral on hit, or like not as positive on hit, right? I don't know how long it takes for someone to go be hit when from standing to crouching though. Uh, so that's something I have to figure out. Well. Oh, it's an AFK. -er. Okay. Press buttons. Press buttons. Hello? Okay, got it. There you go. Round two. Fight. Yikes. Running two. Damn it. Launcher. Punish. Mid. Mid. Press buttons. There you go. Okay. Got it. The baits. The whip punishes. Press buttons. Shit. He's pressing buttons there. Bam. Grab. There you go! Woo! Okay. I should have probably punished him with a launcher there <laughs> instead. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, it is... Time to unwind, back to warm-up time, time to do some stretches, because it is 11, or close to 11. Oh man, okay. I think I put some KBDs in my matches there, here and there. And I was able to actually avoid a few things, like, at the start around, but, like, I definitely need to KBD a bit, or at least try to KB during the middle of a match, especially when we're just trying to be, like, poke, 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 and go in, go in, go in, right? Like, sometimes playing around, around mid-range and, like, with KBDs is probably worth doing, but it's a bit risky. Um, at my at my rank, just because like I don't I don't have my um movement down, but you know we are s I'm close to doing that, so it's not too bad. Um, okay. With that being said, it is the end of the uh stream. So oh, sh I need to figure out copy here. So I think with that being said, like I will have to call it quits for at the moment. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Aha! Splash screen for the ending! Woo! That's amazing! Looks nice. <laughs> uh, so with that being said, have a good day, y'all. Uh, have a good Thursday morning. Have a good rest of the week. There's only one more day to the work week, and we'll be scot-free, right? Uh, thank you so much, Keon. Thank you so much, Harris. Thank you so much, Fran, for coming in, just watching me. I actually learned a lot, too. Got to actually implement KBDs a bit, like... Got to do a bit more optimal combos, maybe here and there by accident. Definitely going to research KBDs a bit more and just like movement. That all said, thank you guys very much. Have a good morning. Peace.